Hi Aquarius, I'm Anisha. To know more about my work, you may visit my website www.tarubayanisha.com. For those of you who are seeking deeper clarity, be it in your love lives or your career, for a personal consultation, you may write to me at tarubayanisha at gmail.com. Aquarians, it's yet another intense month. We have the cardinal cross activating. And uh, even though you're not a cardinal sign, we have Aries, Cancer, Libra and Capricorn, which are the cardinal signs, yet you will be affected as well, especially in areas as far as your communication is concerned, uh, your day-to-day -day chores, your health to a certain extent, um, even I would say as far as uh, your higher mind consciousness is concerned, which will be directly in opposition to um, your... Uh, um, your house of spirituality and behind the scenes. Now, um, even though we're beginning the month with uh, Mars, Mercury and Venus and they're coming and activating your house of day-to-day -day chores, the cardinal cross energy is uh, asking you to prioritize. It's seeking harmony. So for some of you, it could be a, a, a tug of war between how much expansion you should do as far as your work is concerned, how much you should expand, what is it that you should really go for? Should you sit and retain with what you have or should you just sort of go out and get it all there? And then there is going to be this uh, 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 you know, tug of war between your, uh, your behind the scenes, your spirituality, your emotional batteries, maybe something, uh, maybe you're, you're not, I think for some of you, you could just not be up to it. Um, there could be this sense of uh, I think emotional tiredness or it could just be a fatigue it, it could, it's just a phase eh, first of all uh, and also there is a, a tug of war as far as your um, day to day chores are concerned as far as your uh, health is concerned maybe that really gets highlighted and you're being asked to sort of draw a balanced pause take care of yourself, take care of your health to eat properly uh, to calm down, to meditate and uh, on the other side also as far as your speech is concerned so how it is that you're communicating what is it that you're saying uh, and it's not what you're saying it's maybe it is how you're saying it is really uh, important and it's effective and also uh, your siblings are there in focus it could be that you could be really concerned about a sibling and maybe there's some amount of uh, counseling or healing that you could do maybe you're being asked to sort of you've been brought forward ahead uh, it can be that you need help uh, from a sibling and you could be seeking that uh, support uh, from them as well it also indicates some amount of small distance travel maybe you could be traveling around a lot amongst the city having conversations negotiations you could be pitching to clients you could be seeking uh, time from people uh, but this entire energy of uh, balance of harmony it's also a time to choose very wisely because there are uh, hundreds of things which need to get done during a day but you need to be wise enough to pick and choose and uh, I think the really way to go through a, a, a difficult cardinal cross also is to uh, pick and choose things which require immediate attention. Right. With full moon in a part of your chart that has to do with your behind the scenes activities, it could be that maybe a psychological issue, maybe a pattern, maybe a conditioning that you could have been battling for the longest comes to an end. It's a great time to be seeking therapy as well, Aquarians, for those of you who could be under really, um, if not just challenging circumstances, I think even if you know, things have been a little stressful for a while and you've just been trying to repress and put things at the back. It'll do you well to maybe just speak to a friend or just go and reach out uh, to someone whom you trust. On the 21st, we have Mars that is there in your house of relationships followed by Sun that is there on the 23rd. And finally, we have a spectacular new moon that is there as well. So this entire energy in the house of relationships, of marriage and of work partnerships as well, it's speaking about a forward momentum. It's speaking about a time where things will pick up pace and there's going to be a sense of urgency. 
partnerships will be quite beneficial for you maybe in certain cases you will be able to identify about a collaboration which will be extremely fruitful or some of you could just benefit through your partnership or collaborator as well uh, it's a great time uh, because the new moon is there maybe a new opportunity to collaborate to come together with somebody and uh, enhance and expand your work will be there as well it's been a pleasure speaking with you Aquarians. I'll see you again soon and thank you so much for watching.